What up, what up, YouTube? So today I'm gonna to be talking about some very sciencey stuff, but if you understand it, you will be able to get stronger, quicker, and you'll be able to stay more focused when you're focusing on your strength program. And so what I'm gonna be talking about today is in the whole universe, there is only four ways to get stronger. There are only four aspects of strength in order to get actually stronger. And really, only three of them matter. One of them doesn't even really matter. And let's go over that one first anyways. So one of the ways you get stronger is by desensitizing certain um, reflexes or organs in your body. There are certain organs that will turn off force production when a muscle is stretched too far. It's kind of your body's way of protecting itself. And if you desensitize these triggers, then you will be able to produce more force, therefore getting stronger. But it's not, that's one of the least important parts. The other three are more important. The other three are gonna be building muscle. And so the bigger the muscle is, doesn't mean it's gonna be stronger, but the bigger the muscle is, the more potential for strength there is there. This, the next one is gonna be improving neural factors, which is your central nervous system. Most of your strength comes from your central nervous system. And the next one is gonna be improving technique. So you can display more strength. And so those are the four that you need to focus on. Let's go over, I'm not gonna go over desensitizing your organs. Um, your body's kinda naturally doing that if you lift weights for a really, really long time anyways. And there's not a whole lot of real ways you can do to focus on desensitizing um, things that turn off force production. But building a bigger muscle, and so getting the pump is important. Getting big muscles are important. You see some people that are very small and they can still produce a lot of strength, but they would be even stronger if they build a bigger muscle. A bigger muscle means more potential for strength. The next one is probably the most important one and that's improving neural factors. This plays um, a whole lot in your strength. That's why you see a lot of beginners. They can double like their bench press right away. Like they were ben bench pressing like, you know, 95 pounds and all of a sudden they're bench pressing like 225, like within a month of training. Their muscles didn't necessarily get twice as big. Their neural factors got more efficient. And so neural factors are broken in a few ways. I'll show it. Um, right here on the screen. Basically, I'm gonna go over some of them. Basically, it is comprised of intramuscular um, efficiency, intermuscular efficiencies, and coding rates. So basically, when you improve neural factors, you improve how efficiently your body fires and collects muscle fibers. The more muscle fibers you collect, the more force you produce. The more force you produce, the more strength you get, the more strength you have, the cooler you look. <laughs> I don't know how to go any further with that. But basically, when you improve neural factors, you're teaching your central nervous system to collect muscle fibers in an efficient way, in a fast way, and collect it within the muscle efficiently and collect it um, comprising of different muscles working together. And so it gets very complex. That's why a squat um, will require more actual strength than a leg press. Because a squat, you're collecting um, stabilizers too. You're collecting more muscles um, in the lower body and you're also collecting muscles in the upper back, um, the upper traps to stabilize. And therefore, all of those muscles you're collecting has to work together properly to produce force. Whereas a leg press, you're mostly just collecting your quads. There are no stabilizers involved. You're on a machine. That's why I'm a much bigger fan of actual barbell movements as opposed to machines. That's one reason is that's why strength will play a bigger role in barbell movements because of neural factors. And obviously the last one I'm gonna go over really quick is improving your technique. This technically doesn't make you stronger, but improving your technique will prevent more injuries and it will give you the ability to display more strength. The better your technique, the better your display of strength is, the better display of strength is, the more you know, videos of PRs you can post on Instagram, the most videos of PRs you can post on Instagram, the cooler you are. And so if you wanna be cool, get stronger, focus on three of the four things that build strength. These are the only four things that will get you stronger in the whole universe. There's no other aspects of building strength than these four factors. And so I hope you enjoy this video, I hope you get stronger, and I hope you subscribe to my channel. I will see you next time. Peace.